In Monrovia, Liberia, Etwita Sugars Cooper is visiting a local chapter of the Women in Peacekeeping Network. My involvement with the peace movement in Liberia started in 1994. Sugars is renowned as a founding leader in this extraordinary women's movement that took on the warlords to end 14 years of civil wars. There are searing images from that time of child soldiers and ragtag armies who fought, raped, and burned their way through Liberia, on and off from 1989 until 2003, the year these women's actions finally brought peace. I don't see the war coming back. First of all, as women, we have decided that we are going to do whatever it takes to sustain the peace. No matter where we are, we will always be there to ensure that there is peace. In her youth, Sugars moved far from Liberia to attend university in Bern, Switzerland. But ever since, even through the horrors of the war years, she stayed in Liberia to help. Now, with peace at hand, she's pursuing new dreams in the small town where she was born. Edina. Here we speak Bassa and then we speak Liberian English. We just like Dawa. Dawa, you got it. <laughs> That's like real English. Yeah. Okay, we can't, we can't see there. Yeah. I was born here. This is where they my come. grandparents, all, everybody, all of my relatives have a passion for this place. Edina has grown on a thin spit of land with a confluence of three rivers on one side and the ocean shore on the other. In this town, homes are so spread apart you wouldn't even know that 11,000 people live here. But there is a new municipal building where the mayor is to be found. I've been mayor since April, <laughs> so it hasn't been very long. It may seem like a small town job, but she says the challenges are many, the budget hardly there, and there's far too much to be done. As you all know, we have to really roll up our trousers legs. Liberia was recently ranked among the world's five poorest countries. And the basic problems of development here, Sugar says, reflect problems confronting all Liberia. And it's like, okay, we need a road, we need, we need schools, we need clinics, we need teachers, we need uh, s uh, city workers, we need, we need, we need, we need. And we need immediately, we need today. Everything is a priority, and that is what I'm having difficulty doing. Okay. Have you all included any girls in your plans? Are they playing kickball? Are they participating in anything? Well, we make up 51% of the population. <laughs> you know, the attitude sometimes of people uh, who have been devastated by war. At times, I see people as feeling helpless. At least now I'm beginning to see a revitalization of the hope. I told you to be smiling. <laughs> hope against great odds is what first brought former American slaves to cross the Atlantic and settle on this land. Actually, my family, the King family, was one of those families. Freed slaves. They had a dream. They had a hope. They started something. We have the history. The former slaves who founded Edina in 1832 made it a prosperous cultural center, though, ironically, they made an underclass of the native Africans. Over time, Edina's fortunes fell, and then when the Civil War came, rebel soldiers looted and burnt it. I'm being bitten by an ant. My dream for Edina <laughs> <next> to nature. <laughs> is to create an eco-friendly Edina, a place where families can come and live, and you can get fresh fish and shrimps and everything else from the river, that you eat the food grown here, where people can retire to. As a first step in that direction, the town is building some guest houses for visitors. I want to see Edina developed, yes, become modern in a way, but I don't want it also to lose 
the beauty and the peacefulness, the tranquility that you find here. I mean, that's my dream. Somebody else may come after me and dream another dream, because that always happens. But just come back two years from now and see what we have done as a people, because we are going to do something. In Edina, Liberia, this is Ed Robbins for Time Video and the International Reporting Project.